Welcome to Land Academy. This is the Cash Flow from Land Show, where we show you how to buy unwanted vacant land and sell it for more on the internet. I'm Steve Butella. I'm Jill DeWitt. We, we are, are your hosts. hosts. With over 15,000 completed transactions, we are the experts in this niche land flipping business. We hold a drawing to win a free property every month. Enter to win by reviewing this show on iTunes and downloading our free ebook at landacademy.com. All right, let's get this show started. Steve Butella here for Land Academy. Welcome to our Cash Flow from Land show. In this episode, Jill and I talk about real estate statistics, one of my favorite topics, and why they work in your favor. Overwhelmingly so, in fact. Jill, I can't, I can't, this is a, my dream topic. I actually think these are two of your favorite topics because. One, you love real estate all by itself. And two, let's be honest, you love statistics all by itself. You know, we started this topic was complete. We put it up on the screen and we we're both talking about it. And uh, it was something obscure. And I, Jill said, we should change the show to talk about real estate statistics. We did. Okay, so here's what happened. We have a mem- we have a um, we have a question from a caller in the. We sit. We were sitting here doing our research to answer this question, and that's how it turned into this. It evolved into this show in three minutes. <laughs> Say, by the way, we have an eight hundred number now. We're going to start sharing it with you. If you have, a, if you want to be on the show or you want to um, talk, ask us anything, call us uh, at 888-735-5045. So, just like this caller did. So, this was um, from Rex in Seattle. And Rex called in and asked, "Are there enough properties to go around?" Are it was I love this question. He said, "Basically, are, are Land Academy members running into each other and competing?" This cracks me up. I know. He was, and we're going to dispel that once and for all right now. Exactly. So that's where we started. I, after I, 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 I uh, I've had this question before. So yeah, go ahead, Stephen. There are, I mean, and that's how we got into this, launched ourselves into this raw statistics thing. And it's not raw. We're going to have some fun with it. Um, Never, and I'm knocking on wood, have I ever had uh, any Land Academy member run into into each other as competitors. Um, In fact, it's quite the opposite. There's just so much property out there that no one's ever heard heard from anybody about whether or not they want to purchase it. Um, A lot of years ago, Every time I spoke with a seller on the phone because they received a mailer we sent, I would ask them, you know, hey, do you get a lot of letters like this? And they always said, no, this is the first letter I've gotten. Or they would say, I got one a few years ago, but never, it wasn't anything like the one you sent. Mm-hmm. You actually offered a price and you said how we're going to close the deal. So what they're saying, I'm paraphrasing, is they've received letters of interest, but not ones where they said, hey, on Friday, we're going to pay you 800 bucks to buy your property. Right. Um, and we're going to send somebody to your house to close a deal. So, you know, <laughs> do people run into each other? Absolutely not. In fact, this is, I described this one time and that this has actually happened to me. We had a very, 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 we have a very successful member who shared an incredible amount of detail on our website, Success Plant, where everybody talks to each other. All of our members go to successplant.com and talk to each other all throughout the process of mailing properties. And, you know, it's kind of a support group slash learning place. And at the moment, it's free. So this guy went out there, mailed the heck out of a county, all the five-acre properties in one county like we teach, got a huge response, talked about the name of the county, and then a lot of people um, got piped in and said, you know, you're nuts for saying where you where you're so, so successful. And I had to correct everybody and say, look, I mean, what he did was warm everybody up to the fact that there's a lot of people interested. Now there's some people interested in buying their property because they didn't even know that. Mm-hmm. So I want to, well, someday I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a follow-up mailer and see how many, because th- then they, they think the county's wrecked. There's no way people are going to buy five-acre property in this county anymore. And it's exactly the opposite. Mm-hmm. Now the sellers are all warmed up to the fact that maybe somebody's interested. Mm-hmm. Now, does that ever happen? No. My point here is there's no competition. No. It's nothing like houses. I was going to, I was going to add one um, note that of all the hundreds of properties that we have in our inventory at any one time, um, I have I have properties that I sell and I have properties that I don't sell that that are in our inventory. I get maybe a letter 
every other month, Stephen. So think about this. The properties that we own, the hundreds of properties, and how few people Maybe reach out thousands. to us. What's really funny is when I get one from our members and I can kind of tell, I'm like, oh, that's one of our people. Have you gotten one? Sure, yeah. Well, they don't know that it's, they don't, they, when they're going through the list, I'm in a mail merge. They don't see it's me. They're only reaching out to, you know, the owner on record of that property and they're in Which that county. Companies. So, our companies. Exactly. And I love it because I see some letters and I go, oh, thanks. Gotta, me, like gets me all that. warm and fuzzy inside because <laughs> I'm like, look, look, so and so did a good job. So, I'd yeah. like to see, uh, yeah, you're saving those, right? I'd like to see uh-huh. one that, that's good. Uh huh. So, my point is um, that even in our world, gosh, I mean, there, there's, you're going to tell us some more, Stephen. You're going to tell us why. T- tell us. Please tell us the big numbers, why we're not stepping on each other's toes and why this is nothing to worry about. There's 3,200, almost 3,200 counties in the, in the um, most of these, this data that we're going to talk about today is from realtor.org and, and they disclaim it. And most of that comes from actual U.S. census, census data. I sit around and read the census data sometimes. I'm sure you do. That's weird. Did you read encyclopedias when you were a kid? No. Okay. It started to scare me there. I read spreadsheets, green bar spreadsheets that you would print on an IBM computer. What was to false? data. Were you having trouble sleeping at night? (laughs) I I love that stuff. (laughs) That was on your, so on your, wait, so you had the green and white lined spreadsheet stuff from the old printers on your nightstand? Yeah. Uh, If I told you really, really what went on. I would take that home from this office job that I had when I was in college at, during the summer and analyze data that way and, oh, wow. and learn how to program in DOS back then and virtual basic from those printouts because, you know, I couldn't afford a computer or anything. So that's all. I, and they were going to throw that stuff away or shred it. Like it was my job in the office to shred all this stuff. Instead so of analyzing would, it, you yeah. sneak it home and analyze it. And, and then I would take it back the next day or next week and shred it, you know. You know what? That answers so <laughs> many questions right this is now. The person for me. that you're involved with. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is the guy inside of Steven. <laughs> That's right. It is. Well, There's a nerd in there. <laughs> yeah, there is. Fun guys usually on the outside. Yes. <laughs> so there's 3,143 counties in the whole country. And I mean counties plus parishes and Washington, D.C. and things like that. Here's some funny Stats. So you think you're going to run into somebody. Think about this. You're going to run into somebody. They're going to be your competitor in Land Academy. Think about this. There's 8,600 real estate brokerage firms. Excuse me, 86,000. I'm sorry, 86,000. So how many agents do you think are per firm? Yeah. You know, I don't know if they disclose that or not. That's insane. Do you think they're running into each other? Once right. in a while. Once in a while, an age, the agents compete with each other for listings in the same office. This is why we've never had anybody. I mean, that's a staggering number. Mm-hmm. When you divide that by 50, how, there's, you know, there's, well, that's what, it's a lot mm-hmm. per, per state. And then you think about some of these states are very little, very few brokerages. There's 5.6 million commercial buildings in this country. Wow. That, to me, is staggering. Uh-huh. So I you think that. about, you can't find acquisitions? You can't, you can't send a mailer out. Tell me this. I might step on somebody you else's toes. I only mailer? have 5.6 million to deal with. Let's say you and say, I'm, a commercial I'm broker. only going to send mail. And the data that we have, you can pull this data. The data that we sell it contains these statistics. I mean, it contains all the county data is contained in the data that we are licensed to resell. Mm-hmm. So it's not just uh, land that's in there or houses. It's every single property that is in a given county. And it's and 98% of the counties are covered. Mm-hmm. So let's. There's 5.6 million commercial buildings. Let's say you sent a mailer out to all of the building, all of the apartment buildings that were built after 1986, and are more than eight, no more than 12 units, and less than 22 units, and the assessed value is less than five million dollars. That I mean, that's the kind of data that you can. It's very easy to pull a data like that. This is what we teach. Mm-hmm. And you send them a letter and say, "I want to buy the property for X." How many do you think are going to call back and say, come back and say, heck, yes. Mm-hmm. A ton. Mm-hmm. You think anybody is doing that? Mm-mm. Not like I. that. I know they're not. Mm-mm. Nope. That's what I'm talking about. So there's 115 million occupied housing units uh, in the country. 115 million. 115 million, 115 million occupied million. homes. Yeah. This is single family no, residents. No, it's occupied, owned, housing. owned homes. So condos and 
Okay. SFRs and condos and townhouses. Housing units, okay. Almost 5 million, 4.94 uh, million homes. So 5 million homes were sold in 2014. Huge. I mean, this this is staggering to me. Mm-hmm. I, this this might be the most boring show in the world for probably most of the people who are listening to it. All six of them. I love it. I love this stuff. All this does is make me so encouraged at the opportunity that's out there. Right. This is for you, Rex. We're not stepping so, on anybody's toes. <laughs> yeah. <If> you, <laughs> thank you for reeling it back in. Right. <laughs> now they don't. Unfortunately, I dug around pretty good and I couldn't find. Um, vacant land properties and i will get to the bottom of that but i know that it's it's much 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 larger number than oh, any of these definitely so there's way more vacant properties than there are um you know homes vacant land you mean yes, or yeah, property vacant, like any kind of vacant property land that's purchasable like here's another stat only 12 percent of the property in, in uh, arizona is purchasable we call it, it's called private land where it can be bought and sold between private properties everything else is bureau of land management blm uh, reservation, Native American reservation, and uh, state land or, or whatever. So there's no problem purchasing or uh, you know running into it w- with competition at all. Mm-hmm. How are you doing? Okay. No, I'm just saying that 12% <laughs> number. I know that 12% number sounds really low, but it's really a lot of land. People don't realize that. It, it's a lot of properties. So... That's that's the main thing. I mean, even in Texas, you and I talk about all the time. Was there 350 counties in Texas alone? Something like that. Yeah, I think, I, yeah I'm not exactly sure. It's over 300. It's a lot. I mean, so. what's our mailer response now? That's that's you know these. It's fun to talk about these stats, but the way that we teach this, our the you know people ask me, well, how many properties can I budget to purchase when I send out a hundred mailers? So what they're asking me is. If I do everything right and I send out 100 mailers, how many properties can I purchase? And my answer is between, this is for new people now, not mm-hmm. you, Jill, because you could buy 50. But it's more, it's closer to, I don't know, one or two, between one and, I don't know, eight. And that's doing it the way we do it, not just back tax property because we'll, we include that. Mm-hmm. And it's not property where you send, you know, we don't send a $500 offer out to property that's assessed for $5 million. Mm-hmm. We send it out for, you know, five acre property, five hundred bucks for a very low assessed value. That's one of the ways that we can mathematically use data. Is what we teach to send letters to the right people mm-hmm. instead of wasting your time and your money and uh, postage and the whole thing. Exactly. So you're not going to run into anybody. Any other fun, interesting stats that you're seeing there? Well, let's see. I like that one though. Oh, a typical homeowner, yeah. This is shocking to me. It's interesting, yeah. The typical homeowner in this country right now is 55 years old. That, I find that interesting. I find that higher than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be like 32. That's what I thought. So that tells me there's a lot of aging in place going on, and that's going to drive properties down. Property values, I mean, and this is housing now. Right. Housing values down. Right. These peop- Older people expire. We shouldn't be afraid to say that on the radio. It's just a fact. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. As we're sitting right now recording on a – happens to be a holiday, which for Steve is a – we now have – here are our new topics, or our new – the way we describe things around our office. Have they expired? <laughs> and it's a holiday interruption. We're in a holiday right now. We My are. cellar expired. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me. Oh, no. That's happening to me a lot. Actually. I had I remember that one in Michigan. I had too. We we figured it out. <laughs> in the middle of the transaction, they expired. <laughs> yeah, they, yes. Remember that? Yes. Here's some interesting stats <laughs> that have nothing to do with our with land or expiration or taking a uh, holiday interruption. <laughs> so here's some home buyer stats. Doesn't really have anything to do with again land, but they're interesting. First time home buyers, who this is all the people who buy uh, houses. Thirty two percent of all people who buy houses, first time home buyers. Median age of the first time buyer, thirty one. Awesome. Median age of the of the repeat buyer, fifty three. Oh. That shocks me. Well, uh, kind were of they question. stay in their house that long? Well, hold on a second. Uh, repeat buyers is are they buying their vacation home? No, that's just they're a repeat Prime, buyer. That's that their primary it would, residence. It would be included in that. Okay, it's, cool. a, it's just it's they the a second property they're purchased. Okay, got it. Could be their vacation. Could be 
they own four houses. It could be they sold the old one and got the new one. Okay, cool. Median household income for first-time buyers, $69,400. That's pretty high. That excludes a lot of people. It does. That tells me it's hard to get a loan or harder. Well, at least or you that's have what two they out household in, in income. Paperwork. Household. Right. It's two combined, right? And then the median household for repeat buyers is 98700 Well, look at the age. 55. You better be making closer to that. At uh... Yeah. <laughs> well, not necessarily, but. Right. So the takeaway from this is there's so much opportunity out there, I can't describe it. There is. I have yet to send out, knocking on wood, yet to send out a mailer where we just got completely stumped and that was it and we did it all wrong and it was silly. Mm-hmm. No one called back. Right. No, there's no competition for this. No. I love that question, though. It's a great question. Until you, you know, and then all it is, you just have to take and sit down and like we just did, gave all the numbers. When you really look at it, go, oh, okay, I get it. You know, think about, I mean, just just the fact of how many brokers and wait, how many, you know what you didn't say? Just tell me, I, tell me how many licensed real estate uh, agents there are. That's in the thing at the top. Well, there's 86,000 Broker. brokers. Brokerage firms. Right. And that's who... You know, real estate agents work for one, bro- like lots of them work I know. for one. Two million active real estate licensees in the United States. What do you think about that? I think it's, you know, if there's two million people out there looking for single family residential houses to to convert into income for themselves, and there's, I don't know, <laughs> A few thousand Land Academy members looking for properties that are way, there's way more property than there are houses and and house, it's called, you know, tenable property. The numbers are so staggeringly in our favor. It's, uh, it's amazing. That's what I wanted to, to get out of you. That's what I think. I'm not sure we did that justice. So I'm going to keep this on the, on the docket because there's, you know, numbers numbers are just a part of my world, mm-hmm. and I can't. It, it, this is staggering. I, I, you know, I, I guess. Do I sound surprised? Because I'm so surprised. I'm a little surprised. I reviews. Uh, you know, I have. When we started re- to just taking a look at what we're going to talk about this episode, I was floored. Right. And how many commercial properties there are, and how many uh, ho- occupied housing units there are. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot more opportunity than even I thought, and I thought was endless. Mm-hmm. I agree. So now more than ever, let's go buy some property. We hold a drawing to win a free property every month. Enter to win by reviewing this show on iTunes and downloading our free ebook at landacademy.com. If you want to get involved or you need more information about our profitable, niche real estate operation, call 480-467-0359. You just might get Jill at the other end of the line. Landacademy.com. You are not alone in your real estate ambition.